I figured out why uh, my dad hates me so much. Not hates me, thinks I'm so stupid. Like, who here has got, like, parents that talk to them like they're so fucking stupid? And I figured it out, and it's because, like, your mom, especially my dad, because your mom raises you, right? Anybody not have a mom? Because I did. It's fucking, they're so good. They're so nice to have. <laughs> so anyway, your mom raises you and, uh, you know, sees you, like, drooling and shitting yourself, knows you're, like, some retarded animal. But your dad, like, only, usually it's the dad that works, and he sees you every so often. And the only time, coincidentally, when he sees you is when you're shitting your pants. He's going to take you retarded forever. He's like, my boy, so, there you go, shitting his pants again. All he does is watch TV all day. He doesn't, he doesn't know about toilet paper? Ask around. It's in all the stores. So he made peace with the fact that he gave birth to a retard or five, and now he's just trying to give advice, you know, to do the best he could to deal with this burden God gave him. God bless him. God bless him. I was talking to him on the phone like a couple days ago, and I'm like, yeah, Dad, I understand that, you know, if I get married and I have kids with a Jewish girl, our kids are going to be some kind of freak, half-and-half half Jew Christian. I, I get that, Dad. I'll be okay. This is a stupid conversation. Oh. That's interesting. I remember when mom made you food and you threw it on the ground and you drooled all over yourself and you shit in your pants. But somehow you figured out the whole world, I guess. <laughs> Next time I see my parents, I'm just gonna take a shit on the TV and then look around and see if anybody's surprised. <laughs> I think like in their defense though, in like my dad's defense, my brother for Mother's Day, my brother, older brother Mike gave her a clothes iron like as a way of saying thank you for all your hard work. Like, thanks for all your hard work. Here's a clothes iron. They can press dad's pants. Thank you. And I don't care if that's like something your mother wants. You give that on a strange Tuesday. And then he signs our names on the bottom of all the card, right? That's nice. But I just picture like the conversation. And there's my mom with this iron. Like, they gave me an iron for Mother's Day. And there's my dad taking off his pants to hand them to her. <laughs> At least they didn't sit on our TV set. What do you, my dad's asking, like, what do you, you're going to do your stand-up? Is it going to be, have a bunch of raunch in it? I'm like, I don't know. I mean, I'll probably talk about relationships. I, I like to drink beer. Maybe I'll talk about beer. You drink beer? Like, you know I drink beer. You're six years old. What do you mean you drink beer? I'm 30 years old. And you're still shitting your pants? Disgusting. <laughs>